Brothers and sisters, now let's get to the rap battle shift. Please welcome our two contenders, Mr. Brad and John Gavin, come to the stage. And we're gonna do rock, scissors, stone to see who goes first. So boys, fucking get primary school on that shit. <laughs> Let me just start by saying he's actually quite a nice guy. I'm going to feel pretty bad making him look like a bit of a pie. Uh, he goes by the name of Bratchy. He gets that name mainly because when he goes with a woman, she's left itchy and scratchy. <laughs> Hails from a town called Motherwell. People at the front, they can probably tell because of the smell. Uh, that's a town right in the heart of North Lanarkshire. This cunt's got more hot air in him than a fucking tractor trap tractor tire. That was easy. Tractor tire. <laughs> that, was, that was meant to be what I said there, but it didn't come out like that. Um, but um, Bratchpiece is the name that God gave this one. Um, being a Jew, I think he gave him it as a laugh because he killed his son. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he is also, well, I mean, the thing is as well, I, I, I look at him and I do feel sad because, well, quite honestly, he's never going to ever be as funny as his dad. Um, <laughs> or even his brother. Um, fuck it, I've heard better jokes coming out his mother. Uh, <laughs> but, like you see, he is a Jew, um, so I thought I'd throw out some fucking Hebrew. Um, <laughs> So he's going to come up to me like some sort of fucking klutz. Um, that's because he gets a bit sniffing men's butts. Um, he's a bit of a... What was the other one? Ah, that's the one. Um, he... <laughs> lost my fucking... Um, he will come up to me with quite a lot of fucking chutz bar. It's just a shame they threw the best bit of my weight. He's bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he also, he's going to probably try and make me look like some sort of schmuck, but he does look like the sort of cunt that probably drinks toilet duck. Um, <laughs> who's the rest of it? Uh, well, I'll probably leave it there, but I will leave you with a pop quiz. Um, do you still drive a day with my tiz? <laughs> there you go. But, Alright, sit back, John, and relax, because what I'm going to do is prove that the whitest guy in the room can still rap better than you. I don't even know what you're doing up here. I respect you for trying, though, but you're about to get punked by a rapping albino. <laughs> and the car that I drive is a little Hyundai. In the back seat's where I poked your wife in the Brunei. <laughs> Rhymes are tight, yours are an ad hoc mess. This is like when you died in your arse at the last rock ness. <laughs> uh, we had a good time at that festival, although it was tinged with sadness. I mean when you burst out crying when you met Woody from Madness. <laughs> See, my words are well thought out, yours are just slim picks. Your rap's a bigger disaster than the Winter Olympics. <laughs> and my rhymes are sublime, I'm writing all the time. I'll use my words to gang rape you like a lyrical sex crime. Helen! <laughs> um, I did a rape joke in the stand, it's like it's Tuesday and it's red raw. Might as well do a joke about my cock and a joke about a dead maw. <laughs> Cause like stand up used to be fun, right? Despite all the hardship and toil. Now it's just a million open spots, so I'll try to be Frankie Boyle. <laughs> and even when I came here tonight, I thought, who let that chav in? And I don't mean the wee man, I mean you, John Gavin. Oh, you can't. You just choked. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, what rings my belly? <laughs> Uh, see, it's hard for me to 
pal you though, because actually, man, I like you a lot. And you're a good looking guy, right? But see your wife, she's hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, I think me and her, we could develop a special blo uh, bond. Just don't be surprised if your fourth child comes out blonde. <laughs> and that fourth child could be a gift to you, you don't even know, because it'd probably give you a whole new stand-up show. <laughs> Okay, I think I've proved already that I'm in this to win this. And your, se your sex life's like your stand-up set a decent five minutes. <laughs> right, I think I've covered round one. I've covered every taboo. You can already get owned by Bracci as your next fucking tattoo. <laughs> Time. Oh, one second. It was a minor missight on the Lord's part that I forgot to mention that you two have to do another two rounds. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, hey. but them's the rules. Back to John Gavin for more bitching. Are you serious? I don't know about you, but improvisation to me is one of the key. <laughs> So, this next bit's going to be a bit rough. Um, <laughs> so, you say that you took my wife in the brown eye, <laughs> I'm trying to act like you're some sort of lad. It's probably just that your aim was bad. Um, <laughs> trying to hit me with some sort of skills as if you're some sort of rapping ninja. But in actual fact, you're just like a really shite ginger albino ninja. Ginger. <laughs> Tell me like that. Um, oh, fuck, what was that about, sir, bro? Um, this is a bit of a choke because I'm fucking struggling to remember the words that I wrote. <laughs> uh, aye, uh, that was the one. Uh, Ratchy is a really good guy, though. You'd, the sort of guy you would take on marches. I say that really just because he used to get me free tickets to the Archies. Because he used to work there. Um, I really had to know that bit to, to get that bit to the, to the rhyme. Um, now, he works at the Royal Conservatoire. He deals with cunts named Tarquin, Alistair and Farquhar. A lot of folk would think working at the Conservatoire was a bit of a drag, but this cunt loves it because he gets to steal posh cunt's bags. <laughs> and that's fucking near enough what I can think of that I can remember. Right about now, that's just turning really shame. <laughs> Joke, fuck it. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, as the Reverend will tell you, God loves a trier, but you're not even fit to share a stage with the legend Obadiah. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, is what I say to all my sisters and brothers. Are you a rapper or a comedian, or neither one or the other? <laughs> but me, I'm intergalactic like the Beastie Boys. Like public enemy, I'll bring the noise. Like House of Pain, I'll jump around and then drop it like it's hot, like Snoop Dogg in the pound. <laughs> like Eminem and 8 Mile, I freestyle for the win. Like Easy E, I've got my nuts in your chin. <laughs> like LL Cool J, Mama said, knock you out. I'm just giving you a lesson in what battling's all about. Like the Wu Tang Clan, uh, you better protect your neck. Method Man, you got an inspector deck. <laughs> See, the point I'm making here is that I'm a real hip-hop fan, whereas I believe The Smiths is your favourite band. <laughs> oh, well. He has as well. <laughs> Fuck. Seems the last thing I got was a bit wrong. It still, it still doesn't mean I'm going to lose with this song. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. One pack, two pack, three pack, four. This charming man's just been showing the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did I say about freestyling? I take that back, I'm shouting at it. 
Okay, but I'm not done yet, right? I'm going to put one final boot in. Because tonight you're a gay man and I'm Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, I hate that guy. He deserves to die. Just like you did tonight, but at least you gave it a try. <laughs> At least you've done one thing tonight, you've received my ire, but I think we can call that a win for North Lanarkshire. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I think we can all agree that branches have descended in the sort of fucking mad cunt at the bus station mental illness. I mean, if I was speaking to John, I would say probably a little bit like, um, John Gavin, I would rather have my asshole stabbed in than listen to you tell jokes about your family and the shit time you're having. In fact, I've heard it so much, I feel like one of your kids, but that's probably because I've suckled on your wife's tits. Amen. <laughs> John Gavin, Gavin John, as entertaining as a flaccid dong with a career plan. It's like, hey man, I got this all wrong in the face like a rat that got fucked by King Kong. But I know you know you won Scottish Comedian of the Year show, but that don't matter to anybody that matters, and that was a long time ago. And you spent all the money in tattoos and blow, but I respectfully suggest you should have spent that on jokes. Amen. <laughs> but you are a hard act to follow because you leave a crowd feeling hollow after they listen to that shit that you beg, stole, and borrowed. <laughs> but don't get mad, John. Don't feel the rage. Just feel the novelty of people laughing while you're on stage. <laughs> and I'm going to end with something nice. I'm gonna close with something nice to close, and I'm gonna say this, John, you're middle of the road if the road is a dirt track and access is closed. That's what I would have said if I was you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you well. <laughs> that felt, I got a chill. <laughs> First thing for everything. <laughs> Mama joke right there. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let's decide who won this. Would it be John? I think more confident performer with more connection to the audience, but no dope rhymes in there at all. <laughs> or would it be Bratchy? Technical skill, but with no wit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it.